Lovelock Cave in northern Nevada has become the site of intriguing discoveries, including the skeletons of giants. The cave holds a mysterious and notorious history, with many unanswered questions related to gruesome murders like the Velisca Axe murders in Iowa. Thigh bones are stacked up in some areas, skulls in others, creating an eerie scene akin to a warehouse of human bones. In a surprising turn of events, scientists have recently opened a cave that had been sealed for millions of years, leading to a shocking discovery. As they ventured into the mysterious cavern, their flashlights revealed a breathtaking sight. In Saudi Arabia, scientists explored a cave in the Arabian desert, formed around 5 million years ago during volcanic activity. Discovered a decade ago, they initially heard growling and left, suspecting wolves. Upon returning, they found a dark chamber filled with bones, human and animal, accumulated over 7,000 years. Striped hyenas likely used it as a den, leaving bones stripped of meat. The cave, a cesspool of death, contained 2,000 bones, belonging to 14 species, including horses, camels, and humans. Hyena bones suggested possible cannibalism. Another eerie cavern is Skull Cave on Menno Island, Michigan. Used by Native Americans for unconventional burials, it was discovered in 1763 by fur trader Alexander Henry who sought refuge during Pontiac's rebellion. The cave, now a tourist site, once housed generations of bones but is now devoid of remains. In the city of London, there exists a vast network of subterranean tunnels and caverns known as the Chislehurst Caves. Initially documented as abandoned flint mines from the early 19th century, these caves, extending 22 miles, were open to tourists in the 20th century, despite their incredible size, reaching a depth of only 100 ft, and twisting beneath the streets of Greater London, only 10% of the Chislehurst Caves have been mapped due to most of the system being underwater. While experts acknowledge the extensive nature of the caves, their ancient history remains shrouded in mystery. Tour guides once claimed that Druids inhabited the caves 6,000 years ago, followed by Romans exploring them 2,000 years ago and later used by Saxons, around 500 AD. However, these assertions lack archaeological backing. Discoveries include a pliosaur fossil indicating the cave's formation 53 million years ago, records of chalk and flint mining in the Middle Ages, and a prehistoric skeleton embedded in the cave's ceiling from around 10,000 BC, suggesting it may have been a refuge for Stone Age humans during the Ice Age. Nakana Cave, located in Croatia, served as a dwelling for Neolithic humans in darkness, believed to be occupied until the Romans arrived 2,000 years ago. Despite two decades of intense archaeological excavations, the cave remains off-limits to tourists due to its sensitivity, which could compromise valuable evidence. A significant discovery in 1999, known as the Middle Chamber, revealed a massive stalactite carved into the shape of the male reproductive organ. While this may seem unconventional, such symbolism held great importance for ancient cults, including the Romans who wore amulets depicting the male organ. The symbolism was linked to fertility, and the cave's middle chamber, surrounded by pottery fragments, smashed plates, and votive offerings, was identified as a hub for a fertility cult. Researchers believe that the cult, meeting between the 4th and 1st centuries BC, likely venerated a fertility god or goddess. The cave's significance extends to its potential visits by the Illyrians, who dominated Croatia before the Roman invasion 2,000 years ago. Balamu, also known as the Cave of the Jaguar God, is a mysterious cave providing insights into the downfall of the great Maya Empire. Initially discovered by farmers in 1966, it remained sealed for 50 years until National Geographic explorer Guo de Anda reopened it in 2018. Guo's team found a great chamber, 
adorned with stalagmites surrounding abandoned incense burners and Maya vases. The cavern floor was covered in offerings from over 1,000 years ago, as Balamu was considered an entrance to the Maya underworld. The offerings were made during the collapse of Chichen Itza and the Maya Kingdom, a desperate attempt to appease the rain god amid a devastating drought. Unfortunately, the offerings did not save the city. Similarly, the collapse of the Maya civilization due to drought finds parallels in the fate of the Indus Valley civilization, thriving in India and Pakistan about 4200 years ago. The Indus civilization, the first advanced society in the region, built monumental cities in a fertile valley. However, when the rain abruptly stopped, it is believed that drought played a role in the downfall of both civilizations. While drought remains a theory, archaeological evidence supports its potential as a contributing factor to the collapse of these once thriving kingdoms. In a recent investigation of Mera's cave in Europe dating back 7,000 years to the Neolithic period, researchers from the University of Bern in Switzerland made an extremely disturbing discovery. They found a cup made from a human skull, suggesting a possible indication of prehistoric cannibalism. This macabre artifact was not the only unsettling find. A human shin bone was also fashioned into a tool and bones were deliberately cracked open to extract marrow. Microscopic analysis of the remains of 12 individuals buried between the 5th and 2nd millennia BC revealed signs of deliberate fractures and tool markings on bones used for flesh removal. This case is not isolated, as similar skull cups have been discovered in various caves across southern Spain. The prevalent theory is that these cups were created by harvesting brains and repurposing the skulls as drinking vessels. The evidence strongly suggests a history of cannibalism among ancient humans in Spain, although the motivations remain unclear. Scientists ponder whether it was due to a lack of respect for the dead, primitive religious beliefs, survival during harsh conditions, or perhaps an acquired taste. The why behind these unsettling practices remains a significant mystery for researchers. In the heart of Old Town stands a captivating landmark, Arthur's Seat, a picturesque volcanic hill with a rich history and mystery that has perplexed generations. Some even speculate that it could be the legendary Camelot, the mythical seat of King Arthur. However, the most enigmatic tale surrounding Arthur's Seat dates back to June 1836. During a casual rabbit hunting expedition, a group of boys stumbled upon an extraordinary discovery. Concealed amidst slender slabs of slate on the northeast slope of Arthur's Seat were 17 tiny coffins. Measuring only 95 millimeters in length, each coffin was crafted from wood and contained small wooden figures adorned in finely tailored clothing, resembling miniature dolls. Two rows of eight coffins formed a base, with a solitary coffin perched on top. To this day, 17 of these peculiar coffins are on display at the National Museum of Scotland. Despite extensive speculation, the origin and purpose of these miniature coffins remain shrouded in mystery. Some believed they symbolized a form of honorific burial, but the identities of those interred within remain unknown. In 1906, an Edinburgh woman added another layer of intrigue recounting her father's interactions with the mysterious deaf-mute known as Mr. B. This man had drawn a picture resembling the miniature coffins, marked with the years 1837, 1838, and 1840, coinciding with the deaths of relatives. Speculations ran wild, connecting the coffins to German seafaring superstitions or the notorious murderers Burke and Hare, who claimed 17 lives in Edinburgh. Despite numerous theories, Arthur Seat's 17 miniature coffins continue to baffle and captivate, remaining one of history's enduring enigmas. Once believed to be a portal to Camelot, Arthur's Seat now stands as a portal to a world of mystery and fascination, where history, legend, and the inexplicable converge to boggle the minds of all who contemplate its secrets. Of Hollowell's cave in the heart of Germany emerged a wondrous artifact, a small and exquisite bird sculpture crafted from the ancient tusks of mammoths. 
What made this avian masterpiece truly extraordinary was its staggering age, surpassing 30,000 years. This finely chiseled piece of art served as a portal into the mysterious world of shamanism. Picture a waterbird adorned with a horse's head and a magnificent lion's mane, an inspiring, fantastical creature in the realm of shamanic practice. Birds, especially waterfowl, held a revered place as symbols of great significance. This humble carving bolstered the belief that birds played a pivotal role in the spiritual lives of early humans. The bird's head, eyes, and gracefully extended neck brought life to the ancient ivory, making it appear almost capable of taking flight. The artist behind this masterpiece, whose name has long been lost to the sands of time, would surely swell with pride knowing their creation now claims the title of the oldest known bird representation in human history. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.